hi everyone so today in this video i am going to discuss about what is alpha testing in software testing so first we have to know that what is alpha testing then one by one i will discuss that what is the objective of alpha testing then why we use alpha testing what are the advantages there what are the disadvantages are there so one by one step by step i will discuss now first start with what is alpha testing so we all heard this name right in our company in our organizations so we heard lots of time this name that alpha testing beta testing like that so today i am going to clear the main concept of alpha testing what is alpha testing why we use alpha testing okay now so what do you mean by alpha testing or what is alpha testing basically alpha testing is a type of software testing which is performed identify bugs before releasing the product to the real user or to the public means suppose i am suppose in our company uh, our development team has developed something okay so after development what they will do they will upload that particular product or particular application to the play store suppose let's take example on android any android application what they will do after developing the software then after testing the software finally they will release that to the play store right means whenever they are releasing that software to the play store that means this software or that, that applications is visible to publicly or in publicly anybody can use that okay but when we will do alpha testing so before releasing the product to the real user before releasing the product to the real world we have done this alpha testing okay so before releasing the product or before releasing the software to the real user or to the uh, public or to the worldwide before releasing that alpha testing will be done so alpha testing is a type of software testing that is performed to identify bugs before releasing the product to the real user or to the public or to the worldwide so that is called as alpha testing okay so in a simple tension sentence we can say that alpha testing is one of the user acceptance testing alpha testing is one of the user acceptance testing so i have already uh, made one video based upon user acceptance testing or uat testing so if you guys have not seen my video so you can please check it out alpha testing is one of the user acceptance testing okay so user acceptance testing has two part you can divide that you can divide the user acceptance testing in the two parts one is alpha testing another is beta testing so alpha testing is one of the user acceptance testing okay now so now next question who will perform the alpha testing so alpha testing is performed by internal or in house developers means our company's developer our company's our organization developer so that is called as an internal developer okay so alpha testing is basically performed by in house or internal developer or qa engineer or tester okay so alpha testing is performed by internal or in house developer or qa engineer now so alpha testing is the last testing stage before the software is released into the real world so that that what i have already told you that before releasing the software to the publicly before releasing the software to the real world alpha testing is the last stage of testing okay so basically alpha testing is the last testing stage before the software is release into the real world okay so now what is alpha testing now you guys are very much clear about that so alpha testing is a type of software testing which is performed to identify bugs before releasing the product or before releasing the software to the real user or to the publicly 
So alpha testing is one of the user acceptance testing. And also alpha, who perform alpha testing? So alpha testing is basically performed by our internal or in-house developers or QA engineer or tester. And also alpha testing is the last testing stage before the software is released to the real world. Okay, so this is called as a alpha testing. Now, what are the objectives of alpha testing? Obviously, as we are releasing the software, whenever we are releasing the software, before that we are performing the alpha testing, right? So, what is the first objectives of alpha testing? The objective of alpha testing is to refine the software product by finding the bugs that were not discovered during the previous test. Means during the previous test, test mean as I have already told you guys that user acceptance testing, we can divide that two parts. One is alpha testing, another is beta testing. Now, before user acceptance testing, what testing would be done? System testing. Before system testing, integration testing. Before integration testing, unit testing. So whatever issue we missed that unit testing, integration testing or system testing that will that we can that or those issue we can find out in that alpha testing. So that's why the main objectives of alpha testing is to refine the software product by finding the bugs that were not find out during the previous test. Okay, so I have made made uh, you for i mean i have clearly written some some steps for you so you can easily note it down from here also so that's why i have written it here okay so this is the first objective of alpha testing now point number two alpha testing refine the software product by fixing the bugs that were not discovered during the previous test so means the so first point what I have said in the first point I have said that alpha testing refine the software product by finding the bugs means we have to find the bug whatever bugs we have missed our previous test that bug we have to find out so that is the first objective and the second objective is that whatever issue we didn't find in the in our previous test so that bugs we, we have to fix so only finding bug is the not the only solution as a QA our aim is that we have to find the bug and side by side we have to fix that bug by the developer also okay so that's why the second objective is that refine the software product by fixing the bugs that were not discovered during the previous step okay now point number three in the alpha testing we have to involve the customer deep into the process of development because it's a user acceptance testing so that's why involvement of the customer deep into the process of development so that is the one important objective of alpha testing now point number four alpha testing give better insight into the software reliability at the early stage of development as we can know that Okay, so it is gives some better insight. It gives some good insight into the software reliability at the early stages of development. Now, point number five, and that is the main objective of alpha testing. What is that? To identify and resolve the critical bugs and issues in the software before it is released to the public. Now, what is alpha testing? What I have said, alpha testing means whatever testing we are doing before releasing the software to the public so before releasing the software to the public at that time whatever testing we are doing that is alpha testing right so our main objective is of alpha testing is that to identify and resolve those critical bugs and issues in the software before it is released to the public so before so suppose i have developed some or we have developed some applications and uh, we have updated that to the play store now without alpha testing if we upload that particular application to the play store 
some maybe 50 percent chances that maybe some critical issue should be found on the life and it's a bad user experience right so that's why before release to the public we have to identify and resolve the critical bugs and issues and we have to fix that okay so the goal is to assess the software's overall quality functionality usability performance stability in a controlled environment and to ensure that it meets the needs and accept expectation to the targeted audience whatever audience target that we can meet also okay so as we already as we already know that what is the main purpose of testing that whatever is the client requirement we have to fulfill that also and side by side there is no issues on the particular application so we have to find out that and the same thing we have to do that alpha testing also so overall quality functionality stability usability performance everything can be controlled in environment okay now point number six so during alpha testing the software is evaluated against a set of predetermined acceptance criteria so whenever we are doing alpha testing so we are not checking depth into that application so we have some determine i mean determine some acceptance criteria should be there some checklist should be there and we have to check against that checklist okay so during the alpha testing the software is evaluated against a set of predetermined acceptance criteria and any issues or bugs that are identified are documented and reported back to the development team for resolutions or resolve whatever issue we are founding on that alpha testing we have to document that and we have to send back to that document to the developers team for the resolution so the objective of alpha testing is to provide an early opportunity to identify and fix bugs and issues and reducing the likelihood of the effective end user and potentially causing damage to the software reputation means so alpha testing means before releasing the software we are doing the alpha testing so any bug any issues we find out so we have to document that issue and we have to send that thing to the developer for the resolution okay so there is some good opportunity we have in our hand that if we find any kinds of bugs in the alpha testing then we can easily fix it out and after fixation after retesting we can easily upload the software to the publicly that means we can protect some user reputation means we, we cannot loss we are not losing any user reputations we can get a good feedback from the user or customer okay now point number seven overall to improve the quality of the software ensure that it meets the needs of the target audience and reduce the risk of issue and bugs affecting end user after the software has been released that what i have already told whenever we are releasing the software to the customer we have to ensure that it meets the needs of the target audience and it is reduce the risks and issues and bugs affecting in the end user so we have to we have to check that also okay so these are the objectives of alpha testing now coming to that next one is that what is the alpha testing process so there are six processes there so first one is that requirement review then second one is that test and development then third one test case design then fourth one defect logging then fifth one bug fixation and then number six retesting so what all of what are all of these so what do you mean by requirement review so the naming says that we have to review our requirement means we have to review the design of specifications and functional requirement we have to review that so this is the requirement review okay and so every testing has some process 
so if you if we talk about unit testing if we talk about integration testing if we talk about system testing any black box testing white box testing so every testing has some process and almost the same process we have to follow on each and every testing right so of so same for alpha testing so alpha testing also some have some process what are all all those process so requirement review means we have to review the design of the specifications and functional requirement that is the requirement review we have to review the requirement what requirement is client what is the client's requirement what is the customer requirement we have to review the requirement okay then test development test development means the, the test development is based on the outcome of the requirement review so we have to develop the test cases and test plan means whatever whatever think we have i mean whatever total thing we have review from that requirement we have to make them as a test case or we have to development our test case based upon that requirement right so whatever requirement we have we have to make the test cases based on that requirement so test develop that is the test development means we have to develop the test cases and test plan based on the requirement okay now point number three is the test case design so we have to test case design means we have to design our test case means we have to execute the test plan and the test cases that is test case design so whatever test case we have development that test cases or that test plans we have to execute in that test case design phases then whenever we are executing our test plan test plan or test cases if we found any kinds of defect then we have to log that defect that is the logging defect okay now point number 5 is bug fixation so bug fixation means so whenever we are logging the defects okay whenever we are executing the test plan or test cases if we find any kinds of defect we have to log that defects after logging the defect we have to fix that bugs okay so bug fixation means when all the bugs are identified and logged then there is a need to fix that bug and whenever that bug is fixed and by the developer then again as a tester we need to retest those bug okay so that is the retesting so these are the six process we follow for the alpha testing requirement review test development test case design defect logging bug fixation and retesting now coming to the next one is that what are the phases are there for the alpha testing so what phases we follow for alpha testing so alpha testing have two phases alpha testing has two phases one is first phase the name is first phase and second one is that second phase so what do you mean by first phase so what we will do in the first phase so in house so in house or internal developers of software engineers do the first phase of testing we will do the first phase of testing so internal developer or uh, in house developer or software engineers they will do the first phase of testing okay so this is the first first phase so in this phase the tester used hardware some hardware debugger or some hardware added debugger catches the bugs quickly okay so during the alpha testing a tester finds a lot of bugs crashes missing feature etc so what we will do in the first phase what we need that first phase and who will perform the first phase so in house developer in house uh, or, or internal developer or software engineers do the first phase of testing so basically in that first phase the tester used some hardware debugger or some hardware added debugger to catches the bugs quickly okay so during the alpha testing the tester finds a lots of bugs lots of crashes some missing feature etc so this is the first phase and now what is second phase what we will do in that second phase so in the second phase involves the quality assurance stuff 
Okay, so quality assurance stuffs are involved on the second phase. So in that second phase, we involve the black box testing technique. We involve the white box testing technique. Means we have to check the check all the things internally. Okay, so the second phase involves the quality assurance stuff performs the alpha testing by involving black box and white box testing technique that is done by the second phase. So what are the phases of alpha testing are there? Two phases are there. One is first phase and one is second phase. Now, when to perform alpha testing? It is one of the important questions that when we perform the alpha testing or when to perform alpha testing. Suppose, so first what testing we will do? First we do the unit testing, right? Then what testing we do? Then we do the integration testing. Then we do the system testing. Then we do the acceptance testing, right? First, I'm writing it that this is unit testing, okay? Then this is integration, integration, testing then it is uh, system testing okay and the last one is that the acceptance testing okay the acceptance test now in that user acceptance testing what is, what are there in that user acceptance testing things are there one is one is alpha testing and another is the testing. One is the alpha testing and another one is that beta test. Beta, the, the acceptance testing. We have two part. One is alpha testing and another is beta testing. Now, so first we need to do the unit testing, then integration testing, then acceptance testing, sorry, then system testing, then acceptance testing, and in that acceptance testing, after that we have to follow alpha testing and beta testing. So when to perform alpha testing? When to perform alpha testing? Whenever we have done our unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and the main thing is that whenever we have done our user acceptance testing, then we go for, then we perform the alpha testing. So alpha testing is a user acceptance testing. So alpha testing is a user acceptance testing. So alpha testing performed once the product has gone through stages of testing and prepared for release. When we perform the alpha testing, alpha testing is performed once the product has gone through stages of testing and prepared for release. Then we perform the alpha testing. Okay. Now, what are the regions perform the alpha testing? What are the regions we have? First reason is that refines the software product by finding and rectifying bugs that were not discovered through previous tests. So that I have already discussed on that objective part. Okay, so refine the software product by finding and rectifying the bugs that was not discovered the previous test. And second one is that alpha testing allows the team to test the software in real world environment. Okay, alpha testing allows the team to test the software in a real world environment. That is the main reason we perform the alpha testing. So if we do the alpha testing, then obviously we can some connect we can connect the software to our real real world environment. Okay. And the next one is that one of the reasons to do alpha testing is to ensure the success of the software product. Alpha testing pass means we can easily uh, tell that yes, our software is totally bug free and we can easily deploy the software to the real world. Okay, so main reason or one of the reasons to do alpha testing is to ensure the success of the software product. Now, point number four, alpha testing validates the quality functionality of the software. That's what 
I have already discussed that alpha testing validates the quality, alpha testing validates the stability, alpha testing validates the functionality of the software and effectiveness of the software before it is released to the real world. Okay, so before releasing the software to the real world, we have to validate our our software quality, our functionality, our software reliability, our software stability. So everything we need to check on that alpha testing before releasing the software to the publicly or to the real world. So these are the main reason why we follow the or uh, why we perform the alpha testing. Okay, now what are the features we have in our alpha testing? So lots of features are there. Basically, first one is that alpha testing is a type of acceptance testing or type of user acceptance testing. So that is one feature. Alpha testing is a type of user acceptance testing. Now second one is that alpha testing alpha testing is happening at the stage of the completion of the software product because after alpha testing we are going to upload the software to the real world so that's why alpha testing is happening at the stage of the completion of the software product that is the feature okay so alpha testing is in the labs where we provide a specific and controlled environment where we perform the alpha testing in a control lab, in a control environment labs. So we have to follow the alpha testing in a lab where we have some specific control environment. Okay, then point number four, alpha testing is in house testing. Obviously our in-house developer, our in-house tester is testing the alpha testing. So that's why alpha testing is in-house testing. Or which is performed by the internal developers and tester within the organization. Okay, so that's why we can also call the alpha testing as a field testing. We can also call the alpha testing as a field testing. Okay, now point number five. So there is not any involvement of the public because, after, because before publicly release, we are doing the alpha testing. So that's why there is no involvement of public. Okay, there is not any involvement of public. Now, point number six, alpha testing helps to gain confidence in the user acceptance of the software product. Obviously, because whatever issues we missed our unit testing, our integration testing, our system testing, our user acceptance testing, so those things will caught in that alpha testing phases and also in the alpha testing phases we can give the stability we can give the functionality quality product okay so that's why alpha testing helps to gain confidence in the user acceptance of the software product right and point number seven alpha testing ensures the maximum possible quality of the software before releasing it to the market okay so alpha testing ensure the maximum possible quality of the software product before releasing that to the market and also developer perform alpha testing at the developer site so it enables the developer to record the error with the ace of result found bugs quickly obviously because our in-house developer our in-house our internal developer they will do the alpha testing so if any kinds of bug the developer find out so quickly they can resolve their bug so as a tester if we find the bug then we have to document the bug we have to log the bug then we have to go to the we have to go to the developer decks then we have to ask the developer to, the, to fix the bug so that is a lot of time consuming thing is there but in the alpha testing as in-house developer or internal developer are doing the alpha testing so that's why if they found any kinds of bug so immediately or quickly they can fix that okay so that's a less time consuming tax will be there. and next point number nine is that alpha testing is doing after the unit testing integration testing system testing alpha testing when alpha testing is doing after the unit testing integration testing and system testing that what I have already told you that after unit testing, integration testing and system testing, we have to do the alpha testing. So in that diagram, I shows you that like user 
accept test testing the one type of alpha testing and beta testing so obviously alpha testing will be performed after system testing after integration testing after in, after in testing but alpha testing should be performed before beta testing so in my next videos i will discuss about that beta testing then you can interconnect with alpha testing and beta testing each other okay so alpha testing will be performed before performed after system testing integration testing and unit testing but it will be performed before beta testing okay so these are the nine features we have for the alpha testing and this is enough for you guys so if you guys remember that thing that is enough maximum enough okay now point number now next next thing is that what is the advantage of alpha testing why we use the alpha testing what is the advantage that they are so obviously alpha testing reduces the delivery time of the project okay alpha testing reduces the delivery time of the project so you can easily get five to six advantage based upon that feature or based upon that reason or based upon the objective so i have also written some um advantages based upon that feature based upon that at uh, objectives okay so these are the advantage so what is the advantage it reduces the delivery time of the project it provides a complete test plan and test case for the alpha testing free the team member for another projects okay then every feedback helps to improve the software quality it reduces the delivery time to market early feedback helps to improve the software quality so these are the advantage and all we have all, all we have discussed on our uh, previous lecture i mean in our objective part in our features part in our reasons part okay so advantages it reduces the delivery time of the projects it provides a complete test plan and test case alpha testing free the team member for another projects every feedback helps to improve the software quality and also it reduces the delivery time of the market and also early feedback helps to the software quality so these are the advantages of alpha testing and now disadvantages of alpha testing also disadvantages are there so alpha testing needs a, need a longer time for test plan executions if the project is large if we work in large projects then it will take long time for test plan execution this is one disadvantage now next one is that it is difficult to test the entire product since it is still under development so we cannot test the entire software because still under development this is the, that is the disadvantage and point number 3 sometimes the defects in the products can be unknown during the alpha testing and point number point number 4 so for more smaller projects so if we talked about some small projects so time spent on alpha testing is not worth enough suppose there is one two or three page application then alpha testing is not needed for that if we do the alpha testing that means the time we are worth out we are worth our time okay so we are totally i mean uh, wasting our time so for smaller projects time spent on alpha testing is not worth enough okay and also alpha testing doesn't carry out reliability and security testing alpha testing doesn't carry about reliability and security and also alpha testing will only cover the business requirement mentioned by the client so whatever requirement client has that we can cover only on the alpha testing so the project team will not go through the deep testing of each and every module so in my in in the in the first of that video i have already told you that we are not going to deep testing on that alpha testing so alpha testing we have to follow some checklist we have to follow some checkpoint and also we will focus only whatever requirements clients have okay so alpha testing will cover only the business requirement which is mentioned by the client and the project team will not go through the deep testing of each and every module 
okay so that's why maybe there is some issue should be happen okay and point number seven so alpha testing requires a separate lab environment for testing and this is also one biggest disadvantage so anywhere we cannot do the alpha testing for alpha testing we need some lab environment and that what i have talked about that in my in our previous thing like uh, uh, um, alpha testing so yeah so in that features of alpha testing so alpha testing is in-house testing which is performed by the internal developer and tester with an organization and also here i have told you sir alpha testing is in the labs where we provide the specifics and control environment that's why it's a disadvantage that for alpha testing we require a separate lab environment for test these are the disadvantages of alpha testing so now guys you are very much clear about that what is alpha testing and what in which time we actually go for the alpha testing okay so that is for today's guys in my next video i will discuss about the beta testing so till now if you have any doubt please comment me if you guys like my video one thumbs up and subscribe to my channel edupad and stay with me see you in the next videos Thank you.